Alright, so how is everybody doing today? And I'm back here with another 2018 rebuild. And this is the one, like, I was kind of most excited to do. I don't know why, but I really want to do a King's rebuild. And yeah, today is a 2018 King's rebuild. So I did ask you guys in the straw poll in the last video. And the Kings finally won. They had 761 votes. And they were the number one team. So I'm actually, I have no idea what team you guys are going to vote for next. I'm going to put, like, six or seven teams in the straw poll. Link will be in the description. And I'm going to go for a high amount of likes. I'm going to ask you guys today. Let's see if we can get 100 likes. For another 2018 rebuild. If we hit 100, I'll upload another one on, what is that, on Friday. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. And it's a King's rebuild time. So, I'm really excited to use this backcourt. That is what I'm most excited for. De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald. Uh, we're probably going to give George Hill the start for Season 1. But I'm probably going to look to trade him in the offseason. Maybe to get our pick back or something. And we're also going to have to trade like Garrett Temple in the offseason, clear up some cap, probably Zach Randolph as well, and Costa Kufos. And yeah, so we have probably people to trade. But I'm excited to see what this team can do. Their power ranking is pretty low, but the thing that sucks, oh wow, 30. What? They're the worst team, 29 and 29. Wow, okay. So they're actually the like, um, well, they don't have their pick. Uh, who is it? It's Chicago. Is it top? It's top 10 protected. So, does that mean if it's top 10, we get the pick? Hmm. I think that is. Yeah, okay. Because we're not in 2018 yet. Like, this is still the start of 2017 season. So, that's actually kind of cool. So, we might actually get our pick there. That And that would be nice. So, let's see. Do I want to trade anybody? I don't think so. Let's just go here. I don't think Vince Carter is going to get any minutes. Because we have Bogdan Bogdanovic. who's coming over from Serbia, overseas. And he'll be a rookie this year. So, let's see what the rotation is going to be. We're not giving Garrett Temple minutes. I'd rather give him to either Harry Giles or Justin Jackson. Uh, we'll give him 13 minutes. Is Oh, maybe Vince Carter will be getting minutes. Let's see. Uh, they have Vince Carter as our starting small forward. Hey, you know what? If we're trying to do bad, that, I'm fine with that. I just want to give De'Aaron Fox a lot of minutes too. So I'm sorry. Do I want to give Scal a really close time minutes? Let's give... I'm going to give Scal the start because he usually does a lot better than... Uh, Stein in these because I've done um, a King's Miley Golf camera. I'm going to give Fox 30 minutes and let him be the six man. Wow, and actually, never mind. We cannot roll with an eight man rotation. Uh, Fox is going to get 27 minutes. We're going to give 20 there, 21, and then we're going to give 26 to these guys, and we're going to give 31 to George Hill. So we have 11, minute, 11 minutes to give to somebody else. Let's give it. Oh, actually, no. We have Jackson getting 12 minutes, and then we're going to give. We're going to give 12 to Giles. We're going to give it to the young players. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. First scoring option, we're going to make Buddy healed. Second, we'll make... We'll try to get Scal. And then third, we'll make De'Aaron Fox, honestly, off the bench. So, that's going to be it for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And hopefully, we can get a top five pick in this next upcoming draft where we can maybe take, like, Michael Porter or DeAndre Aiden or something like that. All right, guys. So, we ended this season 32-50. and 50, And a part of me wants to trade my pick to Chicago just because I feel like it's a little bit unfair. And it's kind of cheating because... This team actually doesn't have their pick in real life, and it'll make the rebuild a little bit harder. So I think I'm going to do that. But Buddy Hill had a really good season. Shout out to him. Scalo Basir did actually really well. 14 points, 9.4 boards. George Hill, 11 and 6. Darren Fox, 11.4 and 5.4. Zach Randolph, 11 and 10. And then Bogdanovich did all right. Same with Stein. But I'm ready for to get into this offseason. I think I'm going to trade my pick to Chicago. Just because it's going to be in real life and I don't want any, like, people in the comments just hating on me. It's okay. You know what? Like, I'll do it. I know it's honestly going to be a big deal because we're trading probably a top five pick away for free. But it's what happen It's what's happening in real life. So, we're going to be, unfortunately, doing it. So, we're going to be moving on here to the lottery. Um, and let's see what pick we're going to get that we're going to have to trade away. We are projected pick five and we get pick six. Okay. So, lucky you, Bulls. You're going to get pick six for free. So, we're going to give them pick six and... We have to get Pel... Ugh, we don't have this pick either. Okay, well, this sucks. All right, so... Uh, Pelicans, I don't know if you have this pick, but I'm giving it to you anyway. Give me your second and the Bulls. We're going to make a three-team trade. And I know they're both going to accept this. You got to give me a second. So, um, both send me that. And we're sending this pick to the Pelicans and this pick to the Bulls. So, they should both accept that. And, yeah, we get screwed over. So, we don't really have any luck in the draft. I'm going to fire Dave Ye Yorger, Jaeger, Georger... I don't know, but I'm firing him just so we can get a decent coach. Because when you can sign Greg Popovich, why not? Um, Elson Turner, I'm going to fire. Let's sign Elijah Nelson. So we get good coaches. Just to like, coach up Darren Fox and Buddy Heald. I'm going to try to win a championship with both of them. Starting, maybe not Buddy Heald, but definitely Darren Fox. And Buddy Heald can always be a six-man if we can go after a shooting guard. But I feel like this might be a little bit longer of a rebuild. So I'm going to look at trades for George Hill because I want to give Darren Fox the full starting minutes. We can get the number 11 pick in Evan Turner. That's not bad. If I can get a top 10 pick, I'll take it. Whiteside, what? For George Hill? 
It only costs us six mil more. That's not a bad option. He's a free agent next year, but you know what? If we can get bird bites on him, we're giving up a second round pick. Let's pick a white side. Okay, so we do that. Now I might be moving. Let's see. Do I want to move? I think Labissier to power forward. Could I do that? And he goes up to a 77. He's so I'm gonna I think start my power forward next year. So unfortunately, Zach Randolph, we're gonna be trading you because. I don't know. I'm just trading you. So, let's see what we can get. J.R. Smith would be cool. John Collins, not a bad option. He's a young player. Terrence Ross. Um, uh, I can't get a first-round pick. It looks like Jonathan Simmons. No, thank you. I can't really get a first-round pick. Like, instead of Minnesota, do you want to give me your first-round pick? And they don't have the money. What about Philadelphia? Philadelphia always has money. So, Zach Randolph for pick 11. And they want Bohan or Bogdan Bogdanovich. Do you have another pick? Give me pick 17 for Zach Randolph. And I have to throw in Frank Mason. Okay, he'll probably never play. So we have the 17th pick in this draft. And uh, do I want to simulate over? Could I trade up? Like, do we think we're ever going to use Harry Giles? Probably not. So could I maybe move Harry Giles and pick 17 and my three second round picks that I have way too many of to get, like, pick 11? Uh, what about, like, pick 9 or 8? Actually, we can maybe pick, uh, like, pick 8. Probably not. Oh, my God, pick 8. Okay, cool. So, we have the 8th pick in the NBA draft. I'll see you guys at Ricky Signs with who I selected. All right, guys, it looks like I probably should have taken, like, Wendell Carter Jr. or Mohamed Bamba, but I took Trayvon Duval to be the backup point guard. Uh, he's a 74 overall. He'll probably have good trade value if we maybe want to package him in, like, a blockbuster trade, but it's not a fail of a draft pick, but it wasn't really a success. I'm trading Kufos and Garrett Temple because we don't need them nor there are eight million dollar salaries on this team we're kind of a youth movement here they're 32 and 29 and yeah i don't want to pay them 16 million when i can use that money to probably go after a free agent so i can get i can't get a first on pick for either of them okay zach collins from portland would you just do this no they don't have enough money i get bobby portis you know let's do that so we pick up bobby portis who's making like little to no money and we just cleared up 16 mil and i think we had to throw in one second round pick which isn't the end of the world so let's go here into free agency or qualifying offers and then we got my free agents we have none so free agency how much money do we even have i'm just looking we have about 30 million to spend now do i want to go after anybody big or do i wait till next year because i i still think we could just keep it young this year like we have white side like we have our starting point guard in fox we have our backup in duval starting shooting guard and healed backup in bogdanovich starting we don't really have a starting small forward, but we have a backup. We have our starting power forward and backup power forward. We have our starting center, backup center. We have a backup small forward if he gets minutes. I might go after a rental small forward for like one year. Could, like, could I get like Melo on a one-year deal? And then we can like compete for the playoffs or something. Or I can put like Melo on a one-year deal, team option, decline the team option, or trade him. Hmm. Let's see here. Or I could just go out. Like if I'm going to get a good small forward anyway, I might as well try to get Kevin Durant, right? But like... I want to save money for next year, but like, oh, he doesn't even want to come to Sacramento. Okay, Kevin Durant, I see how it is. Wow, he doesn't want to come to Sacramento at all. Okay, so I don't really want to bring Rudy Gay back to Sacramento. I'm thinking Melo on a one-year rental deal is the option here to go for because everybody else is restricted. I don't really want to bring Tyreek Evans back to Sacramento as well. So it looks like we're going to go after Melo on a one-year deal where $28 million because we have the money to spend and... Uh, I'll actually give you 28.5 mil. We're going to give you a team option to see what we want to do with him. So that has 100 interest. We should be able to get him. And he's mulling. It's a pretty big signing too. I don't want to bring DeMarcus, like go after DeMarcus Cousins, try to bring him back there. I don't want to go after Aldridge. All right, I'm at, uh, oh wait, uh, but sign mill. I'm at, I don't want to go after IT4 or anybody like that. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. That was the only signing. It was just a one-year rental to see if we can maybe comp uh, contend for an eight seed. But if we're doing bad, I might just trade Melo at the deadline or I'll pick up his team option at team player options and then just trade him. And we could probably do that and get some value from him. So I'll see you guys at the start of next season with how we're going to calculate the minutes and our preseason power ranking. All right, guys. So here is how we're, I think, doing the rotation. It's going to be Fox, Heald, Melo, Labissiere, Whiteside, and then Bogdanovich, Coley Stein, Bobby Portis and Trayvon Duval coming off the bench. I'm actually gonna give two less minutes there and two less minutes there. And I want to give more to the big two of Fox and Heald. Then we'll give one more to Fox. So this is the team. Actually, we'll give one more to. We'll give our big three kind of in white side. Heald and Fox, like the future ish of this team, 33 minutes. So that's gonna be for me now. If we're gonna do scoring options, first will be first will be Heald, then it'll be Fox, then I guess we'll be 
mellow even though I, i'd rather just progress above this year so yeah let's make it that and do they project us to make the playoffs this year they actually have us at five on nba.com 10 on 2k sports and five on mark spears so they're actually projecting us to make the playoffs let's see if it happens i'll see you guys at the end of season number two so yeah that i guess one year rental and mellow is not going to get us a playoff spot like it is possible if we have a good end of march and a solid april we're five games back of the eight seeded suns and or now we're six games back in the eight seed Clippers, and it's just not looking good for us. We're on a four game losing streak. Make that five, make that six. Okay, yeah, we're six games out of a playoff spot, and April's coming. We can't like lose another game. Hey, we just beat the Warriors. All right, we're on a three game winning streak. Make that four. All right, uh, we're still four games out of the playoffs. Beat the Heat, lose to the Suns. That's a big out. Somehow beat the Warriors twice, and what do we matter in like two weeks? Like what? Beat the Grizzlies. Okay, we're actually competing. No, we're not. All right, we're eliminated from the playoffs, and it was a good run. But Mel is gonna get traded. Gonna go after a big name free agent. Curry wins MVP. Luka Doncic wins Rookie of the Year for the Hornets. He went number one overall. Lonzo Ball, Six Man of the Year. Who did they sign? Probably Chris Paul. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Frank Nielakina, Most Improved, and Tyron Lue gets Coach of the Year. So Curry, Harden, Giannis. LeBron, Cat, on bay first team, on bay second team, DeRozan, Wall, Durant, Leonard, Drummond, on bay third team, Don made it okay, Anthony Davis, George, Jokic, and Lowry, Paul George signed a big five-year extension back in OKC, all defensive first team, you have Fultz, Butler, Green, Giannis, Drummond, Whiteside made it, there we go, there's somebody making an award, he's on a player option, he'll probably opt out and try to go to free agency, and Trayvon Duval didn't get any all-rookie team, so we go... I don't know. We didn't make the playoffs pretty much. We were the 10th seed in the Western Conference. We went 39 and 43. I kind of wish maybe we lost like three more games. So we would have we were here with the Grizzlies and we maybe had a nicer pick. Because yeah, we're gonna have like the 12th or 13th pick or something like that. Stats wise, buddy healed almost 20 points a game. That's what I'm talking about. Fox 15 and 8. We have our nice duo there for next year, hopefully. Melo, um, probably gonna accept his team option then trade him. Whiteside, okay, I'm gonna try to bring him back. And yeah, uh, wait, what did Scal do? Scal had 10 and 8, so he was actually pretty solid. So let's see what these playoffs. I'm going to say it's going to be a Wizards Warriors finals. Just kidding. The Raptors beat the Wizards in round one. So it is a Raptors Warriors finals, and somehow the Knicks made it to the Eastern Conference finals. And the Warriors win in seven games. The Knicks somehow beat the Cavs in five. Okay, so we're here with the standing uh no uh, let's just go here to the i guess the hall of fame i'm guessing vince carter yeah was in it last year dirk and Dwayne wade retiring and they're both heading to the hall of fame and both right fully deserve to go league meetings okay uh draft lottery let's see we're not gonna get lucky but you never know we're projected what pick 13 okay no i'm gonna turn on trade override and uh get our pick back because that is i gave you our pick last year bulls you don't need to take it oh my god wait it got the number one pick we're going to have the number one pick in the draft. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Let me make sure we have uh, who owns the 2019 pick for the Bulls. Who owns the 2019 Bulls pick? Uh, I'm at Kings pick because please tell me the Kings own it. Please tell me the Kings own it because then that's the pick. Then we would get the number one pick in the draft. You know about the Sacramento really get it. I'm at, I'm at, oh, Philadelphia gets it, are you kidding me, oh my god, alright, well, Chicago, you know what, I'm gonna give you, I'm not even gonna bother, alright, well, Philly's the one that gets screwed over, so do we, why do you have to be so freaking dumb, Sacramento's front office, we could have had the number one pick, that actually went from like pick 12, whatever, to pick one, that's crazy, alright, Bogdanovich, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna try to trade you, because I can get what you're getting out of it, like 12 points a game, uh, for probably 10 million cheaper, so, Lou Williams, we can probably get the same thing for 7 mil cheaper. Joe Ingles. What about if I just looked at shooting guards out here? So, uh, cheap shooting guards coming off the bench. Like, Will Barden. Eh. JJ Redick, he's making 8 mil. Uh, Gordon's making 14 mil. Uh, who's making 21? El Depot, Jesus. 5 mil. I think we might do Will Williams, but... Um, yeah, let's do either Will Williams or let's try to get, like, Karis LeVert. All right, we'll wait till after team player options. So we don't have any picks, unfortunately, in the draft or first round picks. Not signing our second round pick. Team player options. I'm picking up Melo's contract, and Whiteside decides to decline his contract. Papa Giannis, uh, or Papa Johns, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to accept it. I might package him in a trade. Malachi Richardson, Malachi Richardson, Malachi. I'm declining his deal. So let's go here. Free agency is going to be very nice. So player finder. Let's see some shooting guards I can maybe try to trade for. That are cheap. That can come off the bench. Like, 
what is what did Karis Levert get for team player options? He got two mil a year. So can we do Bogdanovich for Levert? They don't want to do that. They want a first round pick for Whitehead. Uh, no, thank you. I will give you Papa John's. And they agreed to that. Okay. So we are here now, I think, at qualifying offers. But I'm putting Melo up on the trade block because I don't need him. We're going to go after whatever, a free agent or something. So what can we get for Melo? We can get Troy Brown Jr. and Al Horford. We can get Mike Conley. We can get Goran Dragic, or Marcus Aldridge, or Andrew Wiggins. What? Give me Andrew Wiggins. Oh, I have to take Patty Mills in this trade. But okay. We just picked up... Uh, uh, Andrew Wiggins, so I think Patty Mills or Mel's uh, trade value just went up to five stars once I traded him So we're gonna be trading uh, Patty Mills. Yeah, cuz we already have Trayvon Duvall as a cheap backup point guard option So can I get a first on pick for him? Golden State, Minnesota will give me a first Will any other team give me a first? New Orleans uh, Especially I don't actually do they have DeMarcus Cousins? Yeah, they do. Okay, so their pick won't be that nice uh, Cavs no Grizzlies give me a first round pick especially if they lose Marcus Saul here, so uh Let's go here to the qualifying offers. Coley Stein will offer it and same with Bobby Portis. My free agents. Whiteside wants to test, but we have bird rights on him. And these two guys are restricted. So free agency time. I'm going to go in. I'm going to offer Whiteside a deal. How much money do we have? Okay, we have enough to sign three big free agents. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this guy's could turn out to be one of the best off seasons that I could have imagined. Or it could turn out to be horribly wrong. So... All right, I'm trying to think what I want to do that we can maybe land. I might... Oh, Kevin Love wants so much goddamn money. It's unbelievable. But Jabari Parker, unrestricted free agent. Will you take that and a player option from me? Damn it. He's going to go to the Cavs, really? And I probably can't trade Cavs for instead of Cavs. All right. So point guards, I might go after Kyrie Irving if we could sign him. And let's give him that and a player option if he wants to accept that. Shooting guards... If Jimmy Butler and or Clay Thompson wants to come here, the what I have to do is I have to wait to sign Whiteside till the last day of free agency, and we'll offer Clay about 26 mil as well, and a player option, and I'll even give you actually no, I'm not gonna give you no trade clause. Quite wondered, I wish, but he always goes back to the Spurs. Kevin Love wants so much goddamn money. Uh, ooh, Paul Millsap only wants 22 mil. I would honestly offer you that. I'll give you 23 mil for th four years and a player option. So it's like three and one. So I think we're good there. Let's see what happens. Clay Thompson accepts our offer. All right, we're going to accept that. Now I'm either going to get, I don't think we're going to have enough money to get Jimmy Butler. I don't know if we can get Kyrie Irving and the Suns are going after him. Jabari Parker is now getting an offer from, why is he going to go to the Cavs? All right, so Kyrie and Jabari both accept other offers. It looks like Paul Millsap might be the person we go after. And we get, okay, can I sign Jimmy Butler? I can. I might sign Jimmy Butler. Did I give him a no trade clause? No, I did not. I might sign him and then trade him. Like, I could probably trade him for Paul Millsap, but I could just see if I can get better options. So, we're going to sign Jimmy Butler and Whiteside. And can I do it? Wow, we just picked up three huge free agents. Two huge shooting guards. And then, like, Whiteside and Wiggins. Okay, so this team's going to look nice. It's filthy. Can we get Marcus? Okay, never mind. Marcus already signed. Uh, probably can't get anybody here on a mid level exception. Not Paul Millsap. That's unfortunate. I thought I would be able to. Uh, and... Bogdanovich, do I want to bring in uh, you? Can I get you for a mid-level exception? Probably not. Wow, okay, I can't even offer him a deal. How many people do we even have on contract? We have about 12 when Kali Sound and Portis come back. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season with what I'm going to do with a big trade or something. All right, guys, so the start of the season, I'm going to be trying to trade Clay Thompson for Kristaps Porzingis, and they are questioning it but i have a lot of second round picks that i don't know where we've acquired but we have a bunch could i throw five second round picks and clay thompson for porzingis they like what they have okay what about a first round pick and that really all right if they don't do two first round picks i'm just going to try to do jimmy butler then okay so i'm sorry clay i'm at uh jimmy butler we're gonna try to do you for porzingis are you serious why won't no team or why won't i'm at the Knicks? just trade me him what the heck? Do they already have a good, like... Oh my god, who is your shooting guard? I guess they love Tim Hardaway Jr. There was really no other power forward I can go after. Like, I wish I could go after Anthony Davis, but it's literally impossible. Like, I, I would love to give up Jimmy Butler and freaking all my picks, but it's just impossible to do. Like, he's just so hard to get in this game. Yeah. Um, 
I don't want to go after, like, Draymond. I, I would want to go after Porzingis. If there's a center I can get, maybe Jokic, I would move to power forward. So, we, can we try to do Clay for Jokic? And I'll throw you a first. I'll throw you two first. Um, and I'll throw you one last first. Oh, my God. Why won't nobody want to give me... Why doesn't anybody want to trade? <laughs> uh, we could try to pick up DeMarcus Cousins, bring him back here. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Um, and what about if I give you a first? And I gave you two first. Okay, so let's do Jokic. Uh, actually, let's just go back to Porzingis. All right, I'm about to overpay the crap for him. What, do I want Clay or Jimmy? You know what? I guess we're going to keep Jimmy just because he's an overall higher. And it'll make this team look a little bit cooler. So, I'm about to give up, honestly, three first round picks. And Clay for Chris Ops. There we go. Wow, I just overpaid a crap ton. But what are you going to do? So, let's see what the team is just going to look like now. So, it's a roster of De'Aaron Fox, Jimmy Butler... Andrew Wiggins, Christoph Porzingis, Hassan Whiteside, Skylar Basir, uh, Willie Coley Stein. I'm going to make, hold on, I'm about to make uh, Buddy Heald be the sixth man. And then we got Karis LeVert and Bobby Portis. Wow, this team is good. Okay, so we're getting Bobby Portis. Uh, he's not going to play. He's not going to play. We're going to give LeVert 12 minutes a game. Uh, we're good there at four bench spots. Now let's give 31 to Whiteside. Let's give 32 Wiggins. And let's give two more to Butler. Let's give two more or one more to White side and one more to Wiggins. So this is the team. Let's see how we do. Uh, let's go to the power rankings. One, four, and one. All right, we should win it all. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So John Wall wins MVP for the Washington Wizards. Romeo Langford, a shooting guard. Uh, it has him from Louisville, wins Rookie of the Year for the Detroit Pistons. Eric Bledsoe, Sixth Man of the Year. No one's the well wins Defensive Player of the Year. Trey Lyles wins Most Improved on the Bucks now. He's been on, like, three teams in four years. And our coach, no, we did not get Coach of the Year. Ethan Schroeder of the Timberwolves gets Coach of the Year. So that was the team Melo was on. So let's see if we have any Kings on these All-NBA teams. Uh, did I just see Jokic? Uh, yeah, there's Jokic, who we were going to trade for, but we went for Porzingis instead. Kevin Durant is on Brooklyn, so this NBA is literally like, what the hell is going on? And uh, I don't see really any more Kings. No Kings, no Kings, no Kings, no Kings, no Kings at all. But we got the two seed in the Western Conference. We're taking on the seven seed Suns, who I don't know how... Oh, okay, they have Kyrie Irving, Bledsoe, Reddick, Josh Jackson, Giles, and Moses Brown. That team is literally... Okay, we might get upset in round one. We might be screwed. Fox was our leading scorer, which is actually very surprising. He had 17 and 9 assists. Jimmy Baller, 16 and 8 assists. Buddy Hill, 16 off the bench. Porzing is 13 and 7.7. .7. He did not really play that well at all for us. And Whiteside, 12 and 13. Wiggins, ugh, gross. 12 points a game. Ugh, not very good. And I kind of want to see what Melo did in Minnesota. He put up 11 points a game. So, Minnesota, uh, I'm at uh, Tim Wolves, let's see. Gate or round one or yeah, round one against the Suns. Okay, it looks like we're getting past them. We sweep them. That I did not expect. Taking on the, the Blazers, who have Willard. How do they get DeAndre Aiden and McCollum and Z Oh my God, this team is filthy. Oh my God, we might lose. We might lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. It's tied one one. Please don't lose. All right, we're up two one, two two, three two us. Game seven, here we go. Okay, can we not lose? If it's close, I'll hop in. Great first quarter. All right, we're blowing him out. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Western Conference Finals. Here we come. Buddy Heald off the bench is a stud. Freaking stud. And we're taking on the Warriors of the Timberwolves, and it's the Timberwolves. Okay. So, Towns, Mello, Smart. The team we made the big trade with. Uh, they don't have Wiggins, obviously, anymore. but they Or they don't have Jimmy Butler, because we have him. So, we actually have two former Timberwolves players. Game one, they beat us by five. All right, we should we shouldn't lose to this team. Uh, game two, we win. I think honestly, the best team we faced so far was either the Suns or the Blazers. I think they're both better than this Timberwolves team, but they're up two one on us, and we find us down two one, and we're down three one. Come on, can we come back, please? Don't lose the series. Oh my God, can we not choke away this? Oh, we lose. We lose. Oh, that sucks. And the Timberwolves are in the finals. All right, we got one more year in us, guys. One more year in us. Damn, that was a bad choke. That was a really bad choke. So, I'm just going to keep the core together. We don't really have any old players that I have to worry about. We still have our head coaches. Um, I don't even think we have our draft picks because we gave it all up for Porzingis, unfortunately. But I think we might have to bring, like, Harris or Verda, one of those young guys off the bench back or something like that. So, team player options, bring it back Fox, Duvall, Jackson, and, oh, we're going to have to go after Wiggins again. Unless we can get 
somebody on a mid-level exception. Qualifying offer is healed and Lubis here. See, we got to bring back both of them. So we have Wiggins is testing. Um, Stein, I want to give... Uh, I think we have bird rights on him. We'll give him five years. He should accept that. Bobby Portis. Uh, I don't think he got any... Did he? No, he didn't get any minutes from us. We have to bring back Harris LeVert over Bobby Portis. And we'll give him five years. All right. So my main goal here just in free agency is to get Gordon Hay... Uh, what? Not Gordon Hayward. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. So let's give him 21 mil for five years or whatever. And... Uh, there we go. So Melo is here. We can actually get maybe Melo on the mid-level exception. Um, wow, that might actually happen. So, that, if, like, then we would sabotage the Timberwolves a lot. Mello and Karis Avert both accept... <sighs> Karis Avert, are you actually serious right now? Alright, we gotta go after Bobby Portis. We gotta go after Bobby Portis then. Um, please tell me Bobby Portis didn't sign anywhere. Okay. So, Bobby Portis, just please accept our deal. We got Wiggins. We just gotta get back Stein and Portis, and we get back both of them. So, that's pretty much the team. I'll see you guys at the end of next year's season. Okay, right, so we get the two seed once again. We go 50 and 32 on the season. Right behind the Trailblazers, who we lost to, who I'm scared to face this team with Lillard, McCollum, Aiden, and Williamson. But here goes nothing. Stats wise, here were the stats for the third and final season, or fourth, maybe, in final season. Wait, one, two. How many regular seasons have we had? I think this is the fourth. So, these are the stats. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the rotation was. Like, this is pretty much what 2K came up with. I think I'm going to go nine-man rotation in the pipes once again. I did sign Mason Plumley, but I don't think I'm going to give him minutes. I think I want to give him to Trayvon Duvall just because he's younger and he could probably do more with it. So, we're going to give him 13 minutes, 17. That's fine with. I will right, we'll give 27 to him. 31 to Whiteside. 31 to Porzingis. So let's give 31 to Wiggins. And let's give one more to Jimmy Butler. All right. Here goes nothing. Round one against the Phoenix Suns. We beat them last year. Can we beat them this year? And we beat them in five. Rockets, who I'm scared also to play, but we beat them. And we're taking on the Jazz. Yes, okay. They have Zach Levine now. Uh... Okay, he went back to Chicago. Wait, no, he went. Never mind. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, okay, who's been pretty well. Kevin Knox, they have Derek Favors still. Gobert, Don um, just obviously no Gordon Hayward. Please, can we beat them? Yes, we're in the NBA Finals. Battle of the two seeds to take on the two seeded Nets. Sammy Peterson, who looks like he's a sec uh, rookie, pretty solid player. Kevin Durant. Derek Rose, D'Andre Russell. Yeah, this this is gonna be interesting. Game one, we lose by one point. No. Game two, we lose. Oh my god, we're down 3 nothing. Really? Alright, 3-1. Can we maybe force a game seven? Like, I, I would love that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Hey, we're forcing a game six. There we go. Jimmy Baller, 28 points. Double-double for Fox. Come on, force the game seven. One more win in Brooklyn. Please. No, we're getting blown out. Stop it. Uh, it's been real. It's been real, Sacramento. Okay, this is, I think, the first 2018 rebuild I have not been able to win a championship with. Uh, Kevin Durant wins finals MVP. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. I apologize. I didn't win a championship. This was the first one. So, we've done a 76ers, a Clippers, a Thunder, a Timberwolves, and now the Kings. And I'm 4 for 5, pretty much, with championships. So, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to vote on the straw poll which team we're due next on Friday. And that link is in the description. So, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.